Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing around with mic making and using lots and lots of bright colours. So I'm starting off in my large dilutions journal. Um, you can see I've got a bit of colour on the page anyway where I've used it up. And I am just going in with lots of bright colours. So I'm starting off with a turquoise and then where I've got it overlaying the black that was there before, I'm just writing into it with a blunt pencil um, just to get sort of that scraffito effect in the background which I really love. Not much of it will be seen in the end but it just gives it that extra bit of texture onto the page. Then I'm just going in and blending a few more blue colours and um, heat setting my page. For the mic making, I'm keeping it really, really simple. I want this to be sort of a very bright, clean page, so um, I'm just mixing it up a little bit. And to make the mics on my page, I am just using a whole range of different um, paintbrushes, paintbrush sizes. So um, obviously I had the square one to begin with, a flat brush, then I've got a smaller one, and I'm when I'm mic making, I suppose my thinking process is to try and make visual triangles, so try and put it in three places in the on the piece. But also, I don't put out too much paint, but I will continue to mic make with that colour until I've used it all up, unless I've accidentally squeezed out a ridiculous amount, and then I'll paint it onto the following page. Um, but this is just about being really free and just having fun basically. So making some different marks on the page. I then decided I wanted to put some ink on the page and have it drip down. So I know you can't see what's happening here. You can see the drips starting to come down. But I'm sort of drawing some circles at the top of the page and then letting them drip down. So this is acrylic ink. You could certainly use um, the Dina Wake the gloss, gloss Spray. You just want a, a really fluid um, acrylic ink to be able to drip down the page, basically. It does take a little while for the ink to dry, so just be aware of that. I can still see a few wet spots in that, but it, it does dry permanently pretty quickly. Now I'm going in with my paint pens and again using lots of bright colours. So I put a little bit of green into the yellow squares. I am adding some of this beautiful orangey colour onto the page as a bit of a contrast against the blue. And none of the mic making um, symbols, I suppose, are complicated. Like it's lines and dots and, and new shapes. So people get a little bit overwhelmed, I think, when it comes to mic making. You can make it as complicated or as simple as you want. And if you just want to make marks with lines, go for it. So with the paint pens I suppose what I'm doing is going in and adding some detail to the marks I've already got on the page. Um, in those pink squares I've then put the sort of darker um, fuchsia coloured lines just to give it again a bit of texture. Um, on the painted um, paintbrush marks I'm going in with the paint pen and adding a little bit more to it. So it's just about playing around with what you've got. One of the things I find that helps control your page a little bit is adding a little bit of black and white that helps to give you a little bit of balance on your page. So I usually um, leave that to the end just so, particularly with black, because it is so powerful that um, it can be a little bit overwhelming at times. So. Um, you can control it after the fact, but um, if you sort of do it, you know, and make it too overwhelming, it can be a little bit hard. So less is more and just work up. I decided I wanted to put a bit of a symbol on the page. So I've got this um, cage, really simple cagey shape. I am really funny because I don't particularly like birds per se, but I love um, stylized images of birds, um, silhouettes of birds and bird cages. I, I don't know why, it's weird. Um, but it's just something, I suppose, the symbolic nature of it I really like. So just with um, ink again, I've drawn out the cage, I've dripped it down the bottom, and then using my paint pens I've gone in and added a few extra marks as well. 
A lot of the mark making you can see I'm overlapping and again that's another way to control um, if it, anything gets a bit too in your face or a bit too um, stark you can sort of overlap and help blend it into the background. One of my ways to control if something is too black on my page you'll notice I went over the top of it with white again and um, with the cage there I got a really thin white pen and drew over that too so that's just a way to give a little bit of a highlight and to help the black not be as in your face as it could be. Um, with my mic making pages because I did this for my 100 day project I decided I wanted to have mic making backgrounds and then have a quote on it. So this one is maybe the cage has been a cocoon all along which I really liked you know having that protected open but protected view of the world and then it opens and you you know where you're going. Works in my mind. <laughs> um, with the um, quote I've again chosen that beautiful orange as a contrast to the background color of the blue and then I've put white all around the outside of it just to help it pop out from the background again I'm also going in and putting a drop shadow with a black again that's going to help it push it out into the front so it really sort of looks like it's floating above the page um, and it's a really great way to make sure that the quote um, is the focus of the page that's the point of this page for me having that quote on it so um, that's what I want to have in the front. So in the background you can see you can still see that scruffito where I scribbled into the wet paint in the very first layer. You can see how adding the paint pen over my other details helped lift them and it's just bright and happy um, and it's a really fun print to do so I hope you have a go at playing. Thank you so much for watching until next time bye for now.